Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? Hello. Oh no, Hapasia! Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Yeah. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that... Funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Uh, no unusual feelings this time. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But, wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the Withering Zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the Dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. <laughs> Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. So what exactly was it that I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermin's soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Please, wait here for a moment. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Thank you. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. That sound. Oh.
Uh, are you all right? Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> eat water. Ate, There's no famished. way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. We are hallucinating. Huh? How things out here end up looking like this? What happened? And where are we? There must be a logical explanation for all this. Yes, we are. Really? <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Wow, this place is huge. Yeah. Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Angry uh, mushrooms. Let's look at a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Oh my. Okay, I better take this a little seriously right now. <laughs> Of course, this, this is a hallucination. How are we keeping these items? Wait, we found water. Why did... Back in Inazuma. And wait, we found water. Why did we not go back? You will sometimes find primeval rose rosen and sealed paths that correspond with to them within domains in Sumeru. Collect three primeval rosens within these domains to unlock the corresponding path. Wait, are all domains in Sumeru going to be hallucinations? Uh-huh. What the heck? Okay. Okay. Whoa.
going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. <gasps> hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. Why is it being here? It's suddenly a painting. I still must find my sister. Your sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Her highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her yep. eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. This is upon. a hallucination, a nightmare. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Huh? Yep. Hmm. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Oh, there she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Ah. <sighs> So sweet. Mm. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, sorry, I uh, kind of zoned out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's all right first. What was that nod? 
Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh... Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Oh, boy. <coughs> Excuse me. That, that, uh, that is some friendly mushroom bloke thing, huh? Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Is it a little round creature, kind of like a cabbage? Oh? So you're able to see them, too? Second Traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them, but I never would have expected them to save me. What fascinating creatures. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Still hungry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry, too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter... It's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermansoul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermansoul? The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. I think I understand. Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection with Ermansoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main oh, area hello. of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. 
or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm, while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Wow! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risks, Hapeja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermansul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm... World forget me... What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. Ah... Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Thanks, Apeja. We wish you luck in your endeavors. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs>